Okay, so this is a matrix for port, right? So once we start getting into, you know, longer words, we're going to have, um, you know, import, report, deport, imports, imported, reported, reporter, importer. Um, and, and you'll see that we have over here ION as a suffix, right? Because T-I-O-N is not a suffix. S-I-O-N, not a suffix. C-I-A-N, not suffixes. Um, but the I-A-N and the I-O-N are suffixes because um, the T's or the S's are actually a part of the base. So if I have, you know, deportation, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up with, you know, a T, which is part of either the previous morphine and um, it's not going to be part of the base. So we'll go over that a little bit more. All right. So now we're going to talk about shun because there's two ways to approach it, right? Phonology and morphology, right? So the phonology of T-I-O-N is the pronunciation, right? Remember when I said we are going to have words that when we pronounce them, they don't break at the suffix. And then we, you know, the morphemes are not going to line up with the syllables. So if I had um, a word like action, um, and I and I look at this for. Um, you know, morphemes, the morphemes are act and the suffix ION, right? So those are the two units of meaning. 